I'm changing the wheels on a Razor Rip Surf. Um, so, wheels I got are from KBS. You can get them with bearings or without. Uh, back wheel, totally thrashed on this one. It's a five millimeter Allen key. Um, I don't have two five, so I'm using a five millimeter Allen and then a three sixteenths, which is standard. This metric, five millimeters metric, three sixteenths is standard. Um, it's basically just a kind of a pin bolt type deal. Put them on both sides. Lefty Lucy. Got it loose enough. I'll just unthread it by hand. So there's spacers on the outside of the bearing. And then there's one inside. So there's two on the outside, and then one on the inside between the bearings. So one spacer dropped. Here's the one pin. Um, I'll just drop that in there. And then there's that spacer, and then there's this screw. And then the wheel. This one's, like I said, it's pretty thrash. They go through them pretty quick. Um, so if you're replacing it with bearings installed already, it's as easy as putting it back. So if you bought a set of wheels without bearings, like these KBSs, um, a little cheaper without bearings, you can always reuse your bearings. Um, the stock ones that came with it, these are actually different ones, um, but same same bearings. So if you got them without bearings to swap the bearings, you can either use your Allen key you're using or your kind of your pin bolt thing. Um, I'll show you. So basically, um, just put it in a little bit, and then I'm just prying. And then I rotate, I pry, rotate. I'm pushing down, down on this, and it's kind of wedging the bearing out of the wheel. So I'm just going around, pry a little bit, rotate, pry a little bit, prying, pushing down on this, holding the wheel. It does take some force. Um, you don't want to go too far in. There's two bearings in here, so you just go in a little bit. And then I'm slowly just rotate. Up, oh, there it goes. So the bearing popped out. Um, and there's a spacer inside. There's the bearing. I'm going to pop out the other side. This side I'm using Allen key just to show you. You can use an Allen key. Uh, this is kind of the same, same process. So just rotate it and just slowly wedge it out. Alright. So now we have two bearings and a spacer. So to put that in our new wheel, doesn't matter the orientation, go either way. Um, in these KBS wheels, actually I can just slide it in real easily. Um, but if you do have a difficult time, see I just put them in just like that. But I forgot my spacer, so I'm going to take it out. If you have a tough time getting the bearing in, um, so spacer, it's the big one, the little ones go on the outside. Big spacer, just drop in there. And then, if you have a hard time getting the bearing on, you can put this pin through, and then just get a hard surface and just push it. Just push. So push down, and that'll push. This will push the bearing all the way through, all the way on. So the spacer will kind of slide around in there, which is fine. Um, and you just put it back on. So, to do this, this was an early release of the KBS, so there's only printing on one side. I know the production ones have both, both sides. Um, so you put the pin, pin through, and then your spacer, and then the wheel. But actually what's probably easier, you can do it that way, or you can do screw, I like to do the screw, and then the spacer. And then pull the screw out, put the wheel through, put that through there, 
Then you have one more spacer. Oh man, this thing got stuck in there. All right, I got my other spacer out. I just used a tiny little Allen key. These things get stuck in there all the time. So screw spacer and then spacer on this side. This part's a little bit tricky. I'll try and show you. I kind of just angle the wheel and then drop it in. So I just angled the wheel so it catches the spacer and then it's just kind of resting there. Keep looking back at the camera. Oh. All right, so it's hard because I usually rotate this around so it works the best, but for the camera, I've got to do it so you guys can see it. So I'll do it on this side. So bolt, spacer, bolt, spacer, wheel, and then spacer, just rest it right there. You see how I do that? So it's just resting, I'm wedging the wheel up to hold it. And then I put this in this side, this pin thing, and kind of move it around and shimmy it until it lines up and goes through. And then I kind of do the same thing to make sure the spacer inside both bearings lines up also. <clears throat> so then it's then I can start threading. So I've got a spacer between the two bearings on the inside and spacers on both outside, both sides of the outside of the bearing. Both outsides? <laughs> the outside of both bearings. Yeah. All right, and then five mil Allen, and then two five mils be good. This is a 3 16 also. And then with the spacer, some of the wheels I've seen don't have spacers, but uh, these KBS comes with if you get them with bearings, they have spacers in them, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, so then you can tighten it up pretty firm. Um, you know, that, that's good right about there. How far it'll roll really changes when you have weight on it and stuff. So yeah, you can tighten it up. You don't have to go crazy, but, you know, snug. And then it's good. So that's if, uh, if you have to swap bearings. If you don't have to swap bearings, you just do that process without swapping the bearings, very simply. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. You can just replace your back one if you want, um, get a more, little more life out of your front one or swap them or, you know, they come with two, so you can put both on and go shred. This, uh, this technique applies to both ripstick, rip surf, really any caster board that has um, a setup like this with these caster wheels, these casters. I'll put a link in the description um, to the Amazon ad for these. You get them in black or yellow and then with or without bearings. Um, with bearings it's easier to, to swap over. You don't have to swap the bearings then you just swap the whole wheel but it's a little bit more expensive and with all those fidget spinners going crazy I know bearings are getting kind of scarce and getting more expensive too so um, yeah, I'll put the link in the description. Yeah, so I guess that's it. Like and subscribe.